at 11, my investigation about Mullen's old boss, Bob Ficano. It's a story about what he said and what he actually did. Right after we exposed Mullen's county severance deal, Ficano said he was taking action to end other lavish perks that the county could no longer afford. One of them gave Ficano and his appointees $5 for every $1 they put towards their 401k, up to 3% of their salary. Ficano promised action. This is what he said he would do. We're making an announcement that I sent a letter to the retirement board uh, to cut down uh, the uh, package uh, for the 401k. Pretty clear, right? He even issued this press release saying the perk should be cut down to a one-to-one -one match and that pricey benefits can no longer be justified in the economic times we find ourselves in. Well, apparently times have changed because one year, six months, and five days since Ficano said he'd end the perk, he hasn't changed a thing. Each month, his and his appointees' 401ks get fatter and the county's troubles get deeper. The county's new jail, already $20 million over budget and counting. Cuts to the prosecutor's office are letting accused criminals off the hook, and county custodians like Anthony Garner have been on temporary layoff for the last year and a half. It doesn't feel so temporary anymore. Nieces and nephews, birthdays coming up, you have nothing to give them. You can't go to functions because you have nothing to wear. You have nothing to give. You said you were ending the five to one match. You never did. Why? Absolutely right. Misstated. Well, when he wasn't trying to get away from my questions, he did give some interesting answers that might have you scratching your head. Just how much has Ficano's inaction cost the taxpayers of a broke county, and how much has he personally profited? The answer tonight on 7 Action News at 11.